Attention all guests. The Disney Dreams mandatory safety briefing has begun. We ask that you please remain where you are for the duration of this briefing. The purpose of this briefing is to provide instruction to familiarize you with our emergency procedures. In the unlikely event of an actual emergency, you will hear the general alarm, which is seven short blasts, followed by one long blast of the ship's whistle, accompanied by the sounding of the alarms. When you hear this signal, go immediately to your stateroom. Put on warm clothing and comfortable shoes, take all critical medication with you, and don your life jacket. In the event of a real emergency, please pick up your children from Youth Activities Programming. Please bring your key to the World Card and follow the signs and directions of the designated crew to your assembly station. The Disney Dream smoke detection system is linked to all stateroom phones. In the event that the smoke detector in a stateroom is activated, the system will automatically cause the stateroom phone to ring as an awareness alarm. Shortly after the activation of the stateroom smoke detector, the bridge officer will be calling the stateroom to check on the status of the guests and the room. The Disney Dream also has audible alarms installed in its corridors outside guest staterooms. Upon hearing one or more of these alarms, please leave the area and notify the nearest crew member or call guest services. Your help in responding to one of these alarms will add to the safety of our guests, crew, and ship. If you smell smoke or discover a fire, press one of the red fire alarm call point buttons around the ship. This warns the bridge so that immediate action can be taken. In the event of a fire and during drills, fireproof doors may block your route. Although these doors are heavy, they may be opened by hand and will close automatically behind you. The Disney Dream is equipped with low-level emergency lighting, which is installed in the floors of the corridors to help guide you to the exits. It is important that you do not use the elevators in an emergency because you could become trapped in the event of a power failure. There are other signals that do not directly affect guests. These signals may also be heard during the cruise when a crew drill is held. You will be given advance notice of these drills by ship announcements. Three long blasts of the ship's whistle is the signal for man overboard. If you should see anyone fall over the ship's side, you should throw a life buoy or anything else that will float over the side, shout man overboard and immediately notify the nearest crew member. Man overboard, port side, call the emergency line. Here are the instructions for donning your life jacket. First, unroll the strap and extend the clip to the end of the strap. Then, hold the life jacket in front of you and pull apart the opening for your head for easy access. Next, put your head through the opening and then pull the strap behind your back. Insert the clip into the buckle on the right side of the jacket and pull the strap tight so that the life jacket feels snug around you. Close the neck collar and verify that the life jacket fits securely around you. The life jackets are equipped with a whistle and a light to attract attention. The light will be self-activated once in contact with seawater. Please do not tamper or remove them. The life jacket is filled with permanent flotation materials and does not require inflation. If you are unable to reach your stateroom for your life jacket, Extra life jackets will be provided by your assembly crew from the storage locations near the lifeboats. In the unlikely event that it is necessary to abandon ship, the order will be given verbally from the bridge and your lifeboat will already be prepared for boarding on deck four. 
the assembly crew is trained to take you in small groups from the assembly station to the lifeboat, and special care will be taken not to break up families. Any questions or requests for additional information should be addressed to any ship's officer. The ship is equipped with the most modern satellite distress communications devices that will alert Coast Guard stations and other ships of an emergency. If at any time during your cruise you require urgent medical attention, you should contact the medical center directly by calling the medical emergency line from any ship's phone. The number to dial is 73000. The ship's medical center is located on deck one, forward, on the port side. The medical center is only accessible via the ship's forward guest elevators. If you require non-urgent medical assistance, you can call the medical center. The number to dial is 71923 from any ship telephone to make an appointment. Should you require non-urgent medical attention outside of operating hours, please contact guest services by dialing zero from any ship's phone and request a transfer to the duty nurse. We do ask that if you are feeling unwell at any time, that you return to or remain in your stateroom and call the medical center for assistance by dialing zero for guest services and requesting medical services. On behalf of the captain and crew, we thank you for your attention during this very important guest safety briefing. The briefing is hereby completed, and to our crew, you may now resume all operations and services.